Newton's Mathematical Principles of Natural Philosophy was first published in 1687. Two subsequent editions with emendations were published in 1713 and 1726. In the text, Newton lays the foundations for what would be known in the future as classical mechanics, a technical term that simply indicates the study of the behavior of macroscopic bodies when acted upon by forces. These foundations are Newton's three laws of motion. The first law states that an object will remain at rest or remain in motion unless acted upon by an external force. That an object will remain at rest unless acted upon by an external force seems intuitive, but Newton's insight that an object will remain in motion unless acted upon by an external force is truly remarkable considering that he lived on earth, where air resistance, friction, and a variety of other almost imperceptible forces are constantly affecting the motion of bodies. The second law of motion states that the force acting upon an object is equal to the object's mass multiplied by its acceleration. Along with Einstein's E equals mc squared, this is one of the simplest and most beautiful laws of physics. Imagine the dread of high school physics students if the formula had been something as complex as nearly any formula of quantum mechanics. The third law of motion states that for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Once again, this seems counterintuitive. When we are standing firmly upon the ground, we do not intuitively assume that the ground is exerting a force upon us, but it is. An interesting practical application of this for astronauts is that they can alter their velocity in space by throwing objects. If they throw an object forward, the object will accelerate them backward to the extent of its mass. In the general scholium at the end of his treatise, Newton asserts that the variety of the world and the order of the universe could not have transpired according to blind chance. He writes, This most beautiful system of the sun, planets, and comets could only proceed from the counsel and dominion of an intelligent and powerful being.